Hey there everybody. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I've got some things to go into the Etsy store. Uh, a couple of new designs and one of our, y'all, this just got way chunky, <laughs> but it's so much fun when they just get so way chunky. Uh, a creative journal to show y'all too. This is, uh, I, I, I really enjoy putting this junk journal together. I'm going to show it to you because I kind of would like to uh, kind of make this something that we put in the Etsy store kind of on a regular basis. This one is already sold. I listed her like 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago. She, she's already sold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for supporting me over here. I really do appreciate it. This is uh, this is Night Owl, and Night Owl is five by nine. Uh, there are thirty-two pages in here. There are pockets and tuck spots and things like that. And I just tied it with a piece of netting. It just felt right when I was trying to decide about how to uh, how to do a closure um, with this book. It, it is, uh, you can see what I've done here. It is a typical junk journal. It's celestial themed. It's nighttime themed. Uh, you know, a great uh, book of shadows or a dream journal or whatever uh, your little heart wishes it to be. And my friend's heart I can just imagine what she's going to, she, she is so creative and so awesome and so supportive. I just really, really, you know who you are. I really appreciate you, girl. Um, we start out with an owl on a definitely celestial background here. And then we flip through. Uh, you can see little tuck spots right here. Just inspiring things for you to uh, to work with. Would, would be really super cool for a dream journal. I do have a, a source for this for this particular paper and if you guys like this then I'll be happy to um, you know I never repeat things but I can do something along the same lines as this I really love this uh, I love this paper here it says the beauty of nature is everywhere you know we've got the moon we've got stars we've got um, uh, galaxy symbolism, uh, numerical symbolism. These are all in, I think they're in Italian. If you guys have the Lens, L-E-N-S app on your phone, you can take a picture of this and uh, it will do a text translation and tell you what this says. It says something about the universe right there. Universo. I learned that when I was in Italy. I'm kidding. <laughs> I did not learn any Italian except Prosecco, which, uh, yeah, I like Prosecco, that's for sure. The This paper pack just had stunning imagery on it. I really have never, ever seen one quite like this and felt really fortunate to have stumbled upon it and purchased one and now I'm thinking huh you know I would like to go back and purchase more of this we are all stardust we are stardust we are golden remember that song Joni Mitchell who can forget it I think that the, um wasn't the anniversary of Woodstock like uh, sometime recently, I think. Nature does nothing uselessly. I love that because nature really does. Um, there's, there's nothing useless in nature at all. It's all like perfectly, uh, perfectly planned, perfectly carried out. Um, there's nothing superfluous about it, right? <laughs> it's just nature man. Uh, I love the deer imagery here. We've got a lot of moon imagery. I know that my um, my sweet friend is going to just have a lot of fun with this. Never stop looking up. Again, if you guys are interested in junk journals like this, please uh, just comment 
in the description box below. So I will kind of, you know, I'm guided a lot of times by, I'm guided by voices in my head. I'm kidding. No, it's really true. I am guided by <laughs> voices. And one of those powerful voices is the voice of you guys, you know, my my uh, customers that keep coming back and, and purchasing from me. I just really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I just got this kind of wild hair that I wanted to do uh, a mini creative journal. I think that something like this would fit really nicely in a purse or a bag. It would be a perfect gift for a caregiver, someone who is uh, sitting, uh, holding space for uh, another person. It, because it's easy to, uh, it's easy to transport. It's small. It's five by seven. Uh, still does have the beaded spine on it, which I really do love. And I am crazy in love with this wildflower pattern that we have here. I don't remember where I got this fabric. It reminds me of the great song by Tom Petty, Wildflowers, which I... Uh, uh, Tom Petty left us way too soon. Uh, this one is uh, Wildflower Mini. You can find that in the shop. It is $28. And let's just take a quick look. It is a 5x7 hardcover journal. I had some random pieces of book board. I thought it would be really fun to... Uh, because the, the spine on this book board was only... Uh, was only an inch and I thought well you know that's not going to support uh, a big mama journal uh, but it will support a mini journal and that so that's kind of where I got the idea to pull something like this together also I really like the idea of um, supporting the folks who are watching over uh, you may have an an elderly uh, mom or dad or uncle or auntie or a uh, person in your life and it's really it's a great relief to uh, to create when you are uh, in a situation where you are responsible for someone else which is a huge responsibility and if you guys are you know in hospital or if you are a caregiver, I really do appreciate what you guys do. That is a phenomenal feat this time of this time of life in this world. So you can see that you have you have two signatures. You know the pockets are still chunked up, filled with things for you to create with and have fun with. Two signatures instead of the standard four, but still plenty of things for you to discover, read, plenty of spaces to write, nice little cards that you can pull out and finish. We love our napkins, don't we? <laughs> They're so much fun to uh, decoupage with. That one's got a little bee on it. And this one is made from a, a part of a cereal box. Chris is a big cereal fan, so I'm really lucky that I can uh, repurpose and recycle his cereal boxes. Got one more to show you. Let me put this over here. I also, you guys, have some crocheted items that will go in the shop as well. Close your eyes. Okay, you can open them now. She just turned out really, really big. <laughs> really big. We're going to flip through her. I'm trying to find my... Yeah. I Sometimes I can't stop. And it's like I really need to put a limit on my... Oh, dear. She's like five inches thick. And, of course, when I mail these to you guys and, and you know, you... You're here, you support me, you know how, how we do things. I squash it together 
and I wrap, I bind it <laughs> with a piece of fabric and kind of cinch it all together so it gets to you in good order. I really do like the way the spine turned out on this. You can see the, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe somebody can tell me. I should have used my lens app so I could figure out what that was. It's a beautiful um, gemstone. I'm just not sure, quite sure what it is. We've got a mandala kind of vibe going on here. I've been painting mandalas and I hope to uh, to do that more. You can also see that the, the, they're, the, the covers are bowed and they're bowed because she's just so thick. All right, let's just do a flip here. I love journals like this because it's really immersive. It's interactive. It's meant to be taken apart and put to use. Uh, you know, they have creative kits and creative collections all through here. Four signatures, eight pockets. Uh, if you're doing mixed media, if you are, if you have flop fear of white paper as diane anton says if you have fear of white paper you can grab this journal and find something that uh, sparks your creativity or helps you break that um helps you look vintage hello kitty don't you love it kitty 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 uh it it, it breaks the cycle of uh just sitting staring at a piece of white paper or a piece of or a, a journal page you know we always need to split this is um a creative collect creative kit right here this has all kinds of things for you to put together uh ponder meditate upon it has charms in it it has colors in it it has uh creative bits in it all kinds of sweetness for you I'm really uh, want to send a shout out to my friend Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you for uh, Cheryl uh, gave me a whole bunch of her art supplies and it was epic and wonderful. Today was epic. I really, 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 really appreciate that, Miss Cheryl. I, um, of course, I mean, look. Da, 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 da. I'm already using it. You know, to me, anything that is abandoned, orphaned, sent off to the island of misfit, whatever, is rich fodder for books like this because it, it, it contributes to the individuality of the book. You look through here and you go, well, you know, I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. This is kind of a cool idea. I really, really, really like to use vintage text pages. I like to use vintage books. Uh, this is a vintage dictionary. Looks like a kid's kind of type dictionary. I have creative clusters right here. Um, anytime you see a what do you call that? Paperclip. <laughs> yeah, I have trouble with words. Anytime you see a paperclip, this has been curated for your pleasure and for your creative uh, mojo to get you started. It's fun to flip through the book and wham bam you can create in no time and then you're like well what am i going to do with this well you know you got all kinds of pockets to uh tuck your creations into it is a self-contained project it is really fun to uh i have um i've taken this to bed with me i've sat on the sofa with mine i have worked outside uh sitting at my garden um, it's transportable and it is great to, um, you know, to, uh, what do we call those spaces? We call those like floating spaces, right? So if you are using your kitchen table as an art studio, if you are using, uh, your sunroom as a studio, if you're using an outdoor space as a studio, any sort of floating space is, is really conducive to this sort of journaling. 
if you're on a Zoom meeting, <laughs> this is a great thing to have uh, by your side so you don't get bored. So you, I don't do Zoom meetings. I, I don't do Zoom. Uh, there was probably a time in my life when I was a booking agent and when I did management that I probably could have used that Zoom thing. But mm, I'm so glad that uh, that I don't I don't uh, have to Zoom. Anyway, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, so a creative journal is a one-stop shop. Uh, you need scissors and a glue stick. Uh, no need to crash your stash unless you want to or purchase anything special. It is a self-contained art project. Uh, these are $45. And uh, we've got free shipping on orders that are over $35. I will be adding more to the shop today. Um, like I said, I've got those the crochet items that I want to get in here as well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Chime in. Let me know if you like those junk journals because they are fun to do. And uh, I can uh, source, that, source that paper for us as party paper, y'all. All right. See you soon. Bye.